Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have something super exciting to share with you. On my left here, we have a 2006 SX230. On my right, we have a 2023 222XD. We thought it would be really exciting to compare where Yamaha began and where they are now. I don't know if you know this or not, but in 03, when Yamaha launched this first hull, it really changed everything. If you look at modern boats today and how they're emphasizing swim platforms and transom seating and those sorts of things, it began with this boat. This boat kicked it off. And now today, Yamaha is the number one boat builder on the planet. They build more boats than any other boat builder. It started with this hull. Now we're gonna discover today on this video where they've come from then until now. Let's do it. Oh. To really set this thing off right from the beginning, the swim platform changed everything. This big, open, airy swim platform. There's no outboard engines hanging back here. There's no props beneath. These engines are PWC engines. They're low down in the hull. They don't take up a lot of space. And that gave Yamaha designers a lot of freedom to create this inviting platform. When you're at the beach, you walk on and you walk off. It's really simple to board this boat. Modern technology, they have stayed with it. You have this gorgeous, open airy swim platform that has cushions and all kinds of additional features nowadays convenience features like speakers charging ports for inflatables flush out ports for flushing salt water out of your engines very conveniently located this has been central to yamaha design from the very beginning today they've plussed it they've made it better but still stay true to their roots in the early days yamaha boats were more of a slick bottom a slick bottom hull. They did not have a really deep draft, maybe 12 inches of draft. A lot of fun on the water, but also hard to control uh, when pulling a skier or maybe around the dock. So over the years, they've improved that technology quite a lot, but we'll point to this one first. Look at the bottom of this boat here. Notice here we have kind of a simple hull. There's no central keel. There's no central rudder there. At low speeds without having propulsion uh, or a, a lot of propulsion, you didn't have a lot of control. These boats would tend to slide and be slippery. That translated into a lot of fun, but it also made the boat difficult to steer. So over the years, Yamaha engineers began to develop what they call their articulating keel. It's basically an integrated keel that runs the full length of the boat paired with a rudder that articulates left and right actuated by the nozzle on the starboard side. And what this did was, is it planted the boat and stabilized it when crossing over wakes or when you have a wakeboarder or surfer or skier pulling out wide, gave a lot more stability. Took away a little bit of the fun, but matured the boat for a broader crowd, making it more uh, pleasant for the, the masses. So huge improvements in steering technology over the years. By the way, steering technology, let's talk about that. Steering technology on Earlier models, such as this 06 model here, really the same since the Exciter days back in like 1996, and really unchanged up until around 2014, included basically a simple nozzle and reverse bucket. Uh, it did not have a lot of advanced technology. This boat, for instance, has some of that early technology, and to be honest with you, was a bit of a learning curve to become very proficient with docking, trailer loading, maneuvering in no wake zones. Technology improved. And with the addition of things like the articulating keel, Yamaha's new uh, thrust directional enhancer technology, drive technology, improved reverse outlets for greater reverse control, and accessories like thrust vector and lateral thruster, these boats now are the most maneuverable boats and easiest to control boats on the planet. You won't find a more maneuverable boat anywhere than a modern day Yamaha boat. Early Yamaha engines were based off of Yamaha R1 race motorcycle technology. This is an MR1 setup here, twin 140 horse, four stroke, fuel injected. This was a huge technological leap from prior year model Yamaha boats because it was four stroke, fuel injected. Really, really advanced technology for the day. However, because of the high revving engines up to 10,000 RPMs, these engines screamed. And traditional boaters coming out of traditional boats complained about the noise levels. Modern Yamaha engines are now based off of a 1.8 liter, 180 horsepower package on a naturally accelerated boat. This boat has twin 1.8 liter, 180 horsepower engines, four stroke, fuel injected, total of 360 horsepower. Lots of sound dampening technology has been discovered and implemented. So a modern Yamaha boat, you can actually have a conversation at cruise speeds without having to raise your voice. 
Talking about advanced technology, let's take a look at the helm on the 230. Notice how simple, basic, how very few LCDs we see. The only LCD we have on this boat is a depth gauge, which by the way, didn't work very well back then. Stereo system was available through a remote control on the port side, just to the left of the steering wheel. And the stereo itself, over across on the port side console. If there's any one area where new technology is on display and contrasted between the old, it's around the helm. Giant LCD displays featuring integrated navigation and maps, charts, sound system, all of your uh, weight ballast integration, hydraulically actuated surf tabs, all those things integrated into the screen, as well as right justified to give you more visibility out of the windshield. Simply wonderful. Electronic throttles that are fly by wire, drive controls right at your fingertips, cruise control, wireless charging for your phone, all of these things, advancements to make this new platforms just light years ahead of where these things actually came from. Another innovation that came from observing users losing cushions, these cushions, they would snap in place, but they weren't really snapped down. They weren't permanently mounted to the boat. So driving down the road, you can actually lose a cushion out of the boat. Newer boats, 2015 and on, huge upgrades in the upholstery and how it appears, super sporty, very modern, but also all of the new boats have hinged seats. So you won't be losing these cushions while traveling down the road. So it goes without saying, these new style Yamahas, modern lines, chiseled appearance, almost a stealth fighter type look, very angular. New technologies like giving the boat the ability to surf better through innovation, allowing better water flow back to the jets, giving it better surfability. Just so many more features that have been thought about and implemented over time. If you look at the original kind of 03 to 06 model here, this 23 footer, very classic look, a very simple design, obviously very similar to boats that were made during this era uh, and it had its place. This boat set everything off. This was a very, very attractive boat when it became uh, super popular back in 03, 04, 05, 06 timeframe. But going into these new boats here, I tell you, it is just such a testament to the ingenuity and the engineering prowess of the Yamaha staff. They really have developed a beautiful, artistic, exceptional boat. And this is across all of their platforms, whether it's the 19s, their 22s, 25s, 27s, and wherever they go from here, such a beautiful boat. We're super excited to have shared this with you to show you where Yamaha came from, how they kind of have progressed into this technological marvel that they have today. If we didn't show you something that you were looking to see between these two boats, please hit us in the comments below. We'll be glad to answer any of those questions for you. We thank you for watching today. We hope this was helpful to you. Have a great day.